Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna review in depth my latest Logitech product is the MK330 ok look at the box MK330 wireless combo this is the mouse that came along uh, with the product ok uh, and this is the wireless keyboard guys full form factor I'm going to show you around the uh, you know closely now my first impression and you see there's another uh, keyboard lying out here that's only for the size comparison that's the Logitech K400R media keyboard and uh, not only the size comparison there are other comparisons I would like to make uh, with the MK330 okay now first first things first what is the first thing that you see when you pull out the keyboard out of the box you obviously see the uh, the build quality, the design, the look and feel, uh, etc. Now, my first impression was that the look and feel, design, etc., the build quality was kind of okay, just above average, nothing exceptional, nothing outstanding, and a lot of space wasted around the keyboard. There were a lot of uh, you know unutilized areas around the keyboard, as you can very clearly see out here, right here in the middle, right here at the bottom, a lot of unutilized area. Okay. Uh, but I was also quite happy about the um, the extra large uh, extra large sized uh, space bar, the big and juicy keys like the delete key, the enter key, the shift key. Look at the backspace key. All um, you know, XXL size. All nice. Okay, so that that's cool. Another thing that caught my attention attention was the uh, pull up calculator key next to the extra small uh, you know extra backspace key right above the numpad. I never seen that. I've never seen a dual wax space key, especially where it's actually located. But that's a bonus. So is the calculator key. That's a bonus as well. Uh, although the delete key out here is a little oddly positioned, usually you don't find it there. But again, uh, see the size. And uh, it's a useful key. You need it quite a lot. And I welcome the change. Okay. But what I was not at all, not at all happy about was these six media keys out here, the hot keys, six and these five keys out here. There's something uh, sadly very wrong about them. The the shade of the uh, the icons that they've actually used out here, they merge with the background. I can hardly, you know, while I was actually working yesterday evening, I was finding it very difficult to locate the different icons. I'm not still, I'm still not used to this keyboard, so I was like, where's the home key? Where's the desktop key? Where's the application switcher key? You know, I had to stoop down, I had to focus on the keyboard. I had a hard time locating because the icons are not easily visible, okay? The different five hotkeys are the application switcher. Um, bring up the the first, you know, the next two keys. Bring up the browser. You have the email kind of a button. Then you have the home button. Both of them actually bring the browser. I think with the, the, the only difference between the two is the first one brings the browser. The second one brings up browser with the home page. Uh, the third one brings up the uh, default media player playlist. And the last fifth button is for the, um, what's that for? Bring up the desktop. One uh, stroke desktop. Okay. But look, you know, I'm not happy with the, the size, the, the, the hardness, the feel of the uh, keys as well. The keys should be something like this. Look at the hotkeys out here. Big, nice, rounded, smooth, easy to press. Okay. These keys are very hard, let me tell you. Uh, not only is locating them a little difficult, sometimes, you know, I find myself pressing a little harder. But these are very hard keys. These are not smooth. Um, and these are not big. And I, I find the, the design a little odd for these keys. And I wish they were, you know, the keys were like big and round and nice like these. Uh, also, look at the icons. Icons can be easily seen, right? Icons out here... The icons are just lost. Not too happy about that. So these eleven, uh, you know, six media keys out here: the the mute, the play, pause, the next track, previous track, the volume up and down. Um, these six media keys and uh, the playlist music key out here, and some other useful keys. Uh, you know, they they actually play the spoil sport. So otherwise, uh, this keyboard would have been a lot better. But for the Extra wasted space, I thought, and for these uh, 11 hotkeys. Now you see the FN key out here. The FN key, 
needs to be pressed first and then you can actually invoke the 12 function keys which are all programmable using the Logitech setpoint uh, software okay so you see the um, the F8 is the sleep key uh, the F6 is the the system lock key F7 uh, not to show F5 should be the search key all right so uh, the, look at the tint of the blue used out here and look at the tint of the blue used out here so the the shade is a lot better with the Logitech K400 media keyboard um, it's a lot compact lot minimalistic actually too compact and uh, typing it on uh, you know typing on the Logitech K400 was a little difficult I didn't like that but this is extra large no problems but why do they have this extra you know space unutilized space they could have made it more portable, more lightweight. Now, this this keyboard, the K400R, is neither too light nor too um, heavy. You know, most people I've checked most reviews for this one, and they feel it's quite lightweight. Oh, it's absolutely if small, it's going to be light. So I think it's the perfect weight. Not too much, not too less. But this, I tried lifting from this edge, and I found it difficult. It's not easy to lift it. You know, ah, it's uh, it's an effort. <clears throat> so this keyboard is on the heavier side. Right, also uh, noise when you type, it's slightly noisy. This is more towards the silent side. This is also um, not very noisy, it's also towards the silent side, uh, but this is noisier than this one. Okay, there's some sideways play, there's some sideways movement, not too much. See, look out here, this is better, even with the sideways. Uh, uh, moments this is better okay so noise uh, although it's on the quieter side uh, but it is you know the logitech claims uh, sounds like whisper i do not agree logitech not at all okay but still on the quieter side this is quite quiet right and uh, what else so you see the inclusion of the uh, extra small uh, you know extra backspace key out here which is slightly smaller Above the numpad is welcome, the calculator hotkey is welcome, uh, the, uh, you know, this delete key out here is also welcome, although it's placed a little oddly, but then again it's a useful key and it's quite close to the enter key, it's welcome, okay, so big nice space bar out here, see the space bar out there, not too, uh, not too big, okay, nice control shift keys, caps lock keys, okay, by the way, for the caps lock and for the, um, num lock you do not have any leds i think wireless keyboards do not have leds at least not to my mind i don't remember having seen one but with the logitech uh, you know software the set point software i think you can actually see the toggles happening on the monitor itself but then it runs in the background utilizes uh, some memory and some resources so i don't quite like that okay but i find to preserve the battery a little longer they do not have the leds so uh, for the the caps lock or for the uh, num lock and that's quite understandable that's probably uh, an effort to save the you know preserve the battery life also to preserve the battery life let me flip it up uh, flip this thing see you have the unifying symbol out there it's called k330 i think the 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 whole combo is called mk330 because the mouse is m215 so m from there and k from here i'm just assuming See, you need two AAA batteries out here. You have the on-off switch to preserve the battery life. They claim that the battery life uh, is two years for the keyboard with average uh, judicious uh, moderate use. I hope so. Okay. You have two legs out here that can be actually elevated. Right. This and this. Okay. You can tilt the keyboard and type better, obviously. Right. And uh, look at the six anti skid surfaces one okay there's another one these are anti skid rubbery grips rubberized grips guys uh, this is the third one this is the fourth one and that's the fifth one okay so rubberized grip. but the back of the mk330 is crappy i wouldn't want to see the back of mk330 look at the back of the logitech k400r i'm gonna show it to you a uh, lot better you know the plastic feels a lot better thicker this feels like uh, quite flimsy and um, <laughs> not too happy. Looks crappy actually. Okay. This one too has uh, rubberized grips. It's tilted but uh, doesn't have the folding legs. So you have the rubberized legs out here 
You even have the rubberized surface, one surface is out here, there's another one out here, there's another one out here. These are all rubberized anti-skid surfaces, right? This one uses, this one too uses two AA batteries, okay, just like this one. But the on-off switch for this one is on the side. I think which is better to locate, better, you know, this is uh, at the bottom and probably, um, I, I wish it were on uh, one of the sides, not the bottom. So a crappy, a crappy, cheap looking uh, bottom, guys. Okay, let's invert it back. And this one too. So although this one has a too compact, too minimalistic design, this is uh, kind of oversized. Uh, kind of wasted oversized. You know, it gives me that feeling. Right, so uh, just because this one is uh, has wasted a lot of uh, space all around, um, isn't too portable, uh, and is on the heavier side, uh, you know, plus the uh, living hotkeys are not too soft, not too gentle, a little hard to press, I don't like the design. Um, the icons have, you know, shades that are not easily visible, not too distinct. So I would rate this keyboard... Uh, uh, just 3.5 over 5 okay the mouse is a different story let me bring the mouse up yep let me invert let me uh, switch it on guys give me a sec give me a sec that's the on off switch yep so invisible light first of all and you know the LED lights up just for some time and then it goes away okay I think the green indicator tells you that the battery life is fine okay so a little too small a little little too light you know and if I bang it if I knock it knock knock I do not get a good feel feels very uh, cheap plasticky type of material and uh, you know <clears throat> too small for my hands uh, and you know feels like I'm actually dragging a matchbox so um, a cheap feeling I don't get a, get a very good feeling but the functionality is fine a little over sensitive I thought compared to the other uh, optical you know mice that I've actually used uh, average average performer I would rate it uh, 3 upon 5 okay so you know this this you can actually where's that button e, just give me a sec yep there there you can actually press this button and that flips open the top and exposes one double uh, A battery let me do that for you. Not it's not gonna be easy with one hand. Let's give it a try. Oh, it's hard. Look, oh, manage it. Okay, also it has a space for the nano receiver, which I've you know yet to show you. Let me show that to you. Give me a minute. So before I move on to the nano receiver, talk about the plug and play. Easy, you know, uh, plug and play um, unifying nano receiver. Uh, let me pause the video and. Uh, you know, this is the space for the nano receiver, by the way, if you need to carry it around. So, guys, that is the unifying uh, nano receiver. Um, this has the ability to attach up to six unifying devices. That's cool. So, you see 24 months uh, keyboard life, 12 months uh, mouse battery life, uh, and the media keys and the internet keys controls are there. We have seen that. Comfortable portable mouse, not too comfortable, seriously. I thought it's a little smaller for my hands. You know the keyboard comes with the rupee symbol, I agree. Let's see what the box shows up on the flip side. Okay, it says you have 12 F keys that, that are actually programmable and 11 hotkeys. Again, I don't like the tint of the icons on the hotkeys. The, the hotkeys are too hard to press, too hard to find, too hard to locate. Uh, this uh, combo uses uh, advanced 2.4 GHZ wireless connection, powerful reliable connection, I agree. But there are some glitches. Uh, sometimes, you know, they were uh, very small delays or lags. Only sometimes. Okay. And here it actually says the mouse is comfortable. No, I don't, do not agree. Uh, I think it's a little uh, smaller. I think it's cheaper. It gives me the, uh, you know, gives me the feel of a uh, cheap plastic. Uh, batteries that go a long distance, only time will tell. They claim a 24-month keyboard and 12-month mouse battery life. I... I hope the that's the claim is right. Type in comfort. Uh, they say the keys are whisper quiet. No, they are not whisper quiet. 
uh, there's this definitely um, some sound but it's more on the quieter side so it's kind of okay right I wouldn't say it's noisy but I, I wouldn't uh, I I wouldn't agree to the fact that they are whisper quiet okay so uh, what does it say out here music and volume controls web and email uh, controls right application switcher key yes launch calculator button we've seen that extra backspace key but extra space wasted too all around the keyboard and making it heavier and not too portable full size yes a little is is full size agree but then again why did you waste so much space all around why did you make it so heavy adjustable height yes we we've seen the folding legs we and the wireless encryption 128 bit aes i don't know what this means too technical for me okay now they say accurate cursor control 1000 dpi optical I hope so. Uh, the scroll wheel, we have the clickable scroll wheel. Yes, we have seen that. The battery uh, indicator light. Yes, we have seen that. And a sideways, let's see what the box actually says. It says the contents, uh, it talks about the contents. So, ah, focus, focus up, man. Come on, focus up. Focus up. Okay, the keyboard, the mouse, the USB receiver, the narrow unifying receiver. Two tri AAA batteries for the keyboard, the one AA battery for the mouse, right? User documentation, some typical paperwork. Okay, uh, what do you need? You need Windows XP or Vista or 7 or 8 and a USB port, understandably so. So you can, you have the Windows 7 logo, the Windows 8 logo, the USB uh, port logo. Again, very difficult focusing this. And the unifying uh, receiver logo, unifying devices, both of them, the keyboard and the mouse. Right, uh, here it talks about the warranty, 3 years limited warranty, the price on the box is 2595, I got it at 1777 of Amazon India, uh, took 2 days to arrive which is snappy. So, overall guys, my experience with the Logitech MK330 is uh, kind of uh, average, you know the keyboard uh, gets a rating of 3.5 over 5, the mouse a little crappy, a little cheap, uh, but the performance is okay. So, gets a rating of 3 over 5. So, all in all, not too good, not too bad, nothing outstanding, nothing exceptional. And just another uh, wireless uh, keyboard mouse combo from Logitech. So, guys, I hope you found this information useful. You have a good day. Bye bye. Peace.